Do you want to learn how to use AI to do product placement? Take your product and put it in a beautiful setting? Do you want to have your model put on a garment, put them in a setting, holding your product and making a full advertisement? Or do you want to have your model put on a fashion and get it parading even with motion? Stick around, I'll show you how. Let's take a look at Low Country Pure Honey and take a look at its advertisement. Nature at its best. Taste the goodness. For a healthier child, buy Low Country Pure Honey today. Well, guess what? That advertisement was created by me. Everything was built grounds up, completely created by AI. The model is not real, AI generated. Images are AI generated. The animation, even the music was AI generated. The only thing that was real is the product itself. And I'm not sponsored, but can you imagine the implications? Having AI, can speed up your time to market and reduce your cost for creating advertisements, marketing materials for your social media posting, for your email distribution. The potentials are immense. And the AI tools that I use are these four of my favorite. Images Mid Journey, super realistic, and also, you can do product placement. Music, Suno, animation, Kling AI, a lot of new bells and whistles they have added in there. Video editing, CapCut. All these tools are not difficult to use. They are accessible by you. And of course, some of the more advanced features are paid. So I always say, if you have a project, it's worthwhile to pay the month subscription. And after the project is done, you can always cancel it. So for images, I always go to Mid Journey. I love its photo realistic output. The key is the right prompts. Here, I had a Chinese woman holding a child, smiling at the camera. They came out with some pretty beautiful pictures. For the kitchen setting, I had this prom photo of a modern kitchen and I picked one that I really liked. I wanted the model to wear an apron, so I prompted an apron into existence. I picked the one that I like. And for the product, I need the product in the advertisement. I used the actual honey jar as an, an image reference, but mid journey, got really creative no matter what I prompted. Do not change the logo. Do not change the label of the jar. Mid Journey always had a creative spin to it. I found a neat trick and that trick is in edit. So within edit, I load the image. I remove the background surrounding the image and then I prompted a jar sitting on top of a lovely country style kitchen tabletop and it came out with some beautiful images with my product intact so that's a very neat trick for product placements for animation i go to cling ai they put in some new bells and whistles they are very impressive as a free user you get 166 credits that should give you a couple of generations for you to test its powers. There are a few options here, text to images, text to videos. I use this one. You can have text to video or you can image to video. So text to video, you put in the prompt and you get your clip. Image to video, you've got the frames, you put in your image and you can use motion brush to move certain parts of your image sort of allows you to direct the scene. 
elements was what I used to create my ad. Very impressive. Here, you load your images. Like, for example, I create my model and I put the model in, the setting, the apron, the product. And look, it was so smart to combine everything together with a lot of consistency. And it was pretty smart. In fact, one of the earlier generations had this, which I, I liked. But then I found that the bottle was really very big. And so I had to re-prompt it. I told it that this jar is 12 cm. It's small. It understood that. And it gave me a much better image. Now, that's not all. From here, if you like it, you put a lip sync. And what it does is it makes your image talk. So here I prompted in nature, it's its best taste of goodness for a healthier child by low country pure honey today. I chose the voice, emotion, and I generated, and that's it. It's a talking ape. Look at the lip sync. Amazing. And for the honey jar, I did the same thing. I put it in because a static picture in the advertisement was sort of boring. So I gave it a bit of movement and it came out with some very nice effect to the advertisement. And for music, Suno. I prompted, create a tune for low country pure honey and it was smart enough to choose the right genre, acoustic, country, melodic, and the music was beautiful. And to put it all together, I use CapCut which is very easy to use tool and many features are free. I put in the videos of the honey jar and I put in the talking head. I put the music as the background. I put transitions, faded the music in and out, put in the text and ended off with my signature. Nature at its best. Taste the goodness. For a healthier child, buy Low Country Pure Honey today. And for the bonus tip, how to make yourself a fashion model. I will go back to Kling, and it's under AI Images. Under try on, you would select AI outfit. And there you can upload a picture of yourself. And I've got one example here. This, my image. And then I loaded a garment and this sweater. I found it on the internet. Kling did a perfect job putting this sweater on me. And the fun part is you can even bring it to life. You can click bring it to life, generate, and there you go. I'm a fashion model. How cool is that? There you have it. The power of AI, empowering marketers and creative professionals. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel where I'll dish out more for you. Meanwhile, check out my other videos where I teach you more tips and tricks. Till the next time, have a good one.